Jessica Fox filming for VETT 222, task number 17, which is the fecal sedimentation. Um, first, I'll point out the OCCI certificate here at the Lafayette Veterinary Clinic and get started. So the tasks are the supplies I'll need for this task. Um, this is the cheesecloth and the centrifuge tube. I have a patient's fecal sample properly labeled here. Um, a tongue depressor just to kind of mix the sample with the water. This is an appropriate container in which I'm going to mix the two grams of feces and tap water and then um, cover slips um, for later in the task. Um, so we'll get started. I just need about two grams of feces, which looks good here. Okay. And then I'm just going to mix some tap water in this. All right, and then you really want to make sure you mix it up really well so there's no chunky um, fecal material in here. So I'll just mix this up. And um, if you end up do having, you really want to make sure you don't have any chunks, but if you do, um, when we transfer this to the centrifuge tube, the cheesecloth will kind of stop any big chunks from going in there. But you really want to break up the fecal. <clears throat> okay, so that looks pretty good. Nice consistency there. I'm just gonna toss this stick. Okay, so next I'm going to, using the cheesecloth, um, pour this into the centrifuge tube about halfway up. So we'll do this. Keep going until it's about halfway full. Which is right about there. Well, maybe a little bit more. Just put a little bit more in there. <clears throat> there. Okay. So now I'm going to bring this on over to the centrifuge. Um, I am going to counterbalance it with a tube of the same kind of tube with the same amount. There's a little bit extra in here, so I'm just going to pour a little bit of this out. That looks great. So we will um, place these in the centrifuge opposite of each other. And this is going to run for three to five minutes at 1300 to 1500 RPMs. Um, so we'll go ahead and start that, start the timer. And when that is done, we will be back. Okay, so now that the centrifuge is done spinning, we can go ahead and take a look at our sample. So we do have um, the fecal sediment down here at the bottom. And without disturbing that sediment, I am going to pour off the water. All right, and then using a pipette, I'm going to um, transfer a small amount of this onto a small drop onto the uh, microscope slide here. Okay, I'm gonna just toss all this stuff. Get it out of the way. Um, so using a microscope slide, we'll cover that up, and we'll go ahead and examine it microscopically. So we're going to be looking for any um, parasitic ova. We'll get this focused in here. So I'm using the battlement pattern um, so I don't miss anything. 
just scanning the whole field here. So far, I'm not seeing anything. Okay, final look here. All right, and uh, no parasites seen in this patient's fecal. I'm gonna take this um, slide here and place it in the sharps container. Definitely wanna always make sure we clean up our area. Um, so we'll record these results in Andy's record here. This is the fecal sedimentation, and I'm going to put no significant findings, no parasites seen um, on fecal sedimentation. Okay, and then I'll send the doctor these results. Um, and the last thing I want to do is just clean up the rest of my supplies. Um, so just put the... Um, I'm going to save this just in case the doctor wants to send it out, so I'll put this in the fridge, but the cover slips go in here, and then I will store this in the fridge, and this completes fecal sedimentation.